Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Blue Ox locking hitch pin. And these things are great. You know, they're, they're really versatile. They're gonna work with a ton of different things. And what they're gonna do is secure whatever you have plugged into your trailer hitch. So you can use them for pretty much anything. Uh, these are really popular uh, with people that flat tow. So pull their vehicle behind their motor home. You can lock your tow bar to your motor home hitch with this and just about any other accessory. So we have a ball mount here for an example. You can lock this up or maybe even uh, an accessory like a cargo carrier, maybe even a bike rack. And that's really important. You know, this is a, a great way to protect your investment. You know, these hitch mounted accessories are very high quality these days. And so uh, you wanna kind of go that extra mile to uh, prevent somebody from running off with them. So just to kind of give you a perfect example, um, here in our truck, we have a really nice ball mount hooked into it, uh, with just kind of the standard hitch pin and clip. And so whether you have the ball mount, your tow bar, your other accessory, with a standard pin and clip, you know, it doesn't take much for someone to, uh, to take off with it. You know, you pull the clip, pull the pin out, this slides right out, and you know, they're, they're off into the sunset with it. Well, with that locking hitch pin, that's not gonna happen. You know, if I, let me get this line back up here. With the locking hitch pin, it's not gonna be that easy. It's not gonna be easy at all, matter of fact. So, this unlocks using the key. And when this is slid into place, put the cylinder back on it, lock it down, close the cover up. There's really no easy way to get this thing off unless you have the key. So you're unable to just, you know, pull the pin out and take the accessory. So a, uh, a really surefire way to keep whatever you have plugged into your hitch protected. One thing I do like about this setup is uh, it's gonna be nice and tight against the side of your receiver. So you're gonna have a little bit of space there. Uh, I feel like if it was any tighter, it'd be really difficult to actually get the lock cylinder on there. Um, but, you know, with that little bit of space there, it'd be really difficult for someone to get a tool in there and cut that in half or, or anything like that. Now, don't get me wrong, it is possible, but, you know, I, I really feel like you'd have to, to, you know, exert a lot of energy and put a lot of effort into getting that off. Not to mention, too, this is made from a hardened steel, so it's super hard to cut. And um, that's kind of the point of the lock, you know, you want it to be more or less uh, very reliable and more or less indestructible that way. Um, it's not tampered with easily and someone can take uh, whatever you have plugged into your hitch. The locking hitch pin itself is going to work with those two inch hitches. That's probably the most common size, uh, generally speaking and it's going to be 5 eighths in diameter. So kind of standard uh, as far as that goes. One thing I do like is the actual lock cylinder. So there's a, actually a pretty nice dust cap over this too. It's sealed up real well. But it's, it's kind of a quarter turn type deal. So you put the key in, go about a quarter turn, and it comes apart and goes back together. I like this style a little bit better uh, compared to the ones that have, you know, a traditional type key and those require you to just keep spinning that key constantly and kind of unthread itself. The quarter turn, you know, a lot of times you don't have a ton of space to work, so, you know, by only having to rotate it a little bit, makes it a little bit easier. Not to mention these shallow lock cylinders, uh, this style, I feel like will probably hold up a little bit better. You know, the, the standard or traditional type key, they're a lot deeper, a lot finer, and so if some dirt or Corrosion gets going in there. A lot of times they can give you some issues. And these, uh, this design, generally speaking, you know, you just have a little more luck with them. Uh, at least I do. Something that I have noticed with pretty much any type of lock for that matter, is some of them will actually have a number or a key code um, stamped into the lock cylinder. And I would advise to, to kind of avoid any lock that has that key code on there for that matter because if someone wants into it bad enough, they could look that number up and potentially just get a replacement key. And then they wouldn't even have to bother with it, they'd just unlock it. Well, thankfully this one does not have that number anywhere on here and they're actually 
the number itself is actually on the key. So you know the number, you can jot it down, uh, take a photo of it, just in case you ever lose your keys, you can get a replacement. So that's really nice, you know, the fact that you're the only person that's gonna have that key number or anyone else that you give it to. So I know there's a lot of people out there that kind of just leave their accessory in, lock it down, and don't really have to remove it or reinstall it a whole lot. And so um, if it were me, you know, I, I'd want something that'll hold up. So I feel like the durability uh, would be something important. And from all my experience in the past with pretty much any Blue Ox product, uh, they're all, all pretty well made. We've had a lot of good luck with them. Uh, they don't fall apart or anything like that. They, they hold up, you know. This has a chrome, kind of a chrome plated finish. It feels nice and thick. So, uh, I, you know, I think if, if this were to stay in there for a year or two, at a time, uh, I feel like it'll still be operational and uh, you know, shouldn't really give you too many issues. So with all that said, I figured it'd be worth mentioning as well. If you have a different size hitch, so uh, maybe you have a larger two and a half inch hitch or the smaller inch and a quarter, uh, the same exact locks are available for those, just in the appropriate size. So it'll work uh, just about anything. So you know, you got all your bases covered there, regardless what you need, uh, you can pick it up here at e-trailer, but at the end of the day, you know, a nice, a nice locking hitch pin. It's a, uh, just a really convenient and simple way to keep your accessory protected. And that'll finish up our look at of the Blue Ox locking hitch pin.